Advances in medicine are helping save the lives of many hundreds of children with brain tumours, but invasive brain surgery and aggressive chemo and radiotherapy can have life-changing consequences. Now, a pioneering new long-term rehabilitation service for children is being launched in the South. It's being paid for by a charity, as our health correspondent Nikki Mitchell explains. Down and straighten up. Jack is one of the first patients to benefit from highly specialised rehabilitation at home. And then back up. The surgery, chemotherapy and radiotherapy he had to remove a brain tumour saved his life, but have left him physically weak. That's all right, you can hold on if you need to, just lightly. I want to um, like start riding a bike because I, I used to like ride a bike, um, but now, now I can't. <laughs> Just annoying, really. The services stepped in to help Jack achieve the next goals, which are, you know, to be able to get back on a push bike, checking the facilities are at school are OK. And so I'm heading into school next week to meet his new teachers to make sure that classrooms are, are well set up. For example, in science class, sitting up on a higher stool, we can provide different bits of equipment that can subtly fit into the classroom, which means he can be with all his friends. After his surgery and treatment here in hospital in Southampton, Jack was given months of intensive physiotherapy, speech therapy and other rehabilitation. But the NHS doesn't have the money to pay for this sort of highly specialised therapy once a patient leaves hospital. So crucially, this new service is being funded by a charity. Robbie's Rally. Robbie Kevill was a year younger than Jack when he died from a brain tumour. He'd been a great favourite with staff here and starred in an NHS video about paediatric radiology. They line me all up on the bed. I have to have a mask over my face. Robbie's family say the charity named after him had been his idea and they're now committed to raising a quarter of a million pounds a year for at least three years to pay for Robbie's rehab. But they hope the NHS will eventually take over. I think charities can seed fund, and I think it's absolutely vital that they do, because that's the kickstart the NHS needs to provide a service, establish it as something that's indispensable, and then the NHS continues the funding. Well, I hope they do, because, yes, we've fixed many problems in healthcare by making people live longer, but now we've got to make them live well. So I would hope the NHS to take the example we're doing here and roll this out nationally because it's going to be transformative for our patients. We are so grateful to Robbie's family. It's going to be so helpful to Jack and help him to have a normal life, you know, and be like his friends again. As well as physiotherapists, Robbie's rehab will also provide help from occupational therapists and neuropsychologists. Good. Nikki Mitchell, BBC South Today.